Today we're visiting the green pastures of Burnaby's beautiful Forest Lawn Cemetery. You may remember Forest Lawn from my previous vlogs in which we celebrated some of the dearly departed resting in peace here, including rock and roll singer Ron Tabak and celebrity policeman Whistling Bernie Smith. Today we are here to remember the life of Eliza Lamb and pay our respects to a wonderful person who has captured the interest of people around the world. Recently, Eliza has been the subject of a four-part docu-series on Netflix called Crime Scene, The Vanishing at the Cecil Hotel. It chronicles the very mysterious circumstances of her 2013 death in Los Angeles. Eliza was born in Vancouver and attended the University of British Columbia here. She was a thoughtful, sensitive, and creative person. She loved reading good books like The Great Gatsby and Harry Potter. In 2013, 22-year-old Eliza took a trip alone to California. She checked into LA's Hotel Cecil on January 26th. Eliza may not have been aware of the Cecil's dark history, including murders, suicides, and as a home to serial killers. Eliza was scheduled to leave the Cecil on February 1st, but she was missing. Police searched the hotel but couldn't find her. Two weeks later, they released disturbing security video of Eliza acting strangely in the elevator. It looked to some viewers like she may be scared of someone or something. On February 19th, a hotel employee found Eliza's body in a water tank on the Cecil's roof. The mysterious circumstances of her death have led to multiple theories. Some say she was suffering from a psychiatric illness. Some say supernatural forces were involved, while others are convinced it was foul play. Despite which theory people believe, everyone has sympathy for Eliza as her final hours must have been horrific. Forest Lawn Cemetery covers a big piece of land in Burnaby. There are many different sections here, and each one beautiful in its own way. Eliza's place of rest is on the west side of the cemetery, where the sun shines warmly in the afternoon and into the evening. I believe this section is called Tribute Heights, very quiet and lots of love here. As I look around, I can see that the graves are visited frequently. It's around Easter time and there are lots of flowers placed for the dearly departed. A really nice place. And here she is, sweet Eliza. Looks like there's an inscription from the author Salman Rushdie on her memorial stone. It says, Our lives disconnect and reconnect. We move on. And later we may again touch one another, again bounce away. This is the felt shape of a human life. Neither simply linear, nor wholly disjunctive, nor endlessly bifurcating but rather the bouncy castle sequence of bumping into and tumblings apart. Really nice picture of her on the tablet as well. One of the nicest resting places I've seen. Eliza was born April 30, 1991. She would have been celebrating her 30th birthday this week. Some thoughtful mourners have left Really nice flowers at her grave here. And I wouldn't be surprised if many more arrive in the coming days. Countless people still remember her. Eliza Lamb, 1991 to 2013. We'll wrap things up here at the very peaceful pond at Forest Lawn. Colorful fish enjoying the cool water on this beautiful Burnaby day. Thank you for watching today and remembering Eliza Lamb. With your participation, Eliza will never be forgotten. My condolences to her friends and her family.
I'm Jean-Claude Vancouver, and until next time, be good to the other.